Are you bored in quarantine or having an existential crisis, a midlife crisis, a quarter life crisis, or any other type of crisis? If so, you might be also considering to shave your head. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Mad. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new. If you are new, make sure you click that subscribe button down below to become part of the Mad Vids family. I promise you will not be disappointed. It's a fun time over here. So as y'all know, if you watch my channel or follow me on Instagram, I shaved my head back in January. <laughs> Then I reshaved it again in April after about two weeks of quarantine because I was losing my mind. This is the amount of hair that I have grown. That is such a weird statement. This is my current length of hair. This is what I would consider the awkward stage because like... What do you do? It's definitely not looking its cutest right now and it's definitely a little bit hard to maintain, but honestly, the growth process has been super, super fun. So in this video today, I wanted to actually talk about shaving your head and I know a lot of people who have come to me and said, girl, I wanna shave my head. So I did a little poll on Instagram and basically asked you guys if you have ever considered shaving your head before and if so, why you haven't. 77% of you said yes, you've considered shaving your head. A lot of you said that you already did it or that your hair would take forever to grow back or you might be insecure or regret doing it or you'll miss styling it and touching it and doing fun things with it or you're scared of what others would think or you're scared you would look like a boy or your mom would threaten to kick you out. There was a lot of reasons that you guys gave and today I thought I would give you guys five reasons that you should shave your head and just reasons why I literally never ever 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 have regretted it a single time. Let's start with number one, which is kind of obvious. It is empowering and liberating, especially as a femme presenting individual. A lot of females or femme presenting people are expected to have like long balayage, cute, like perfectly styled hair all the time. And quite frankly, it sucks. It's a waste of time and money and my energy and I'm just not having it, so. That's the tea. It's not as common to see someone that's femme presenting have a completely like shaved head. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, that doesn't make you as feminine. A lot of people believe it will take away their femininity, which is so not true. If anything, I've felt more empowered and more in connection with my feminine side ever since I shaved my head because it just really allowed me to understand and grasp the concept that hair doesn't define your femininity and you can still be beautiful and love yourself and all of that good stuff without a bunch of hair. I also struggled a lot as like a child and a teenager with my hair length. I always wanted super, super long hair. You know, you see people like Ariana Grande and they're praised for their beauty. And not that she's not beautiful because a girl can pull a look. But as a kid, you think that's how you're supposed to look. And what you don't realize is that there's thousands of dollars and makeup artists and hairstylists and all that kind of stuff going into her look every day. And that's just stuff that people like myself, like I'm not capable of that girl. I got bills to pay. <laughs> I would always like hate how my hair was too short or not shiny enough or not thick enough. And shaving my head made me realize none of that stuff matters. And I feel like I'm never gonna be upset about how my hair looks ever again. So that brings me on to point number two is that shaving your head really allows you to break gender norms and social norms. And also it allows those around you to question the true importance of vanity things like hair, makeup, beauty, etc. And don't get me wrong, I am a huge lover of makeup, of beauty, of hairstyling. Like I'm a makeup artist and I love skincare and ugh, girl, if you could see the amount of products around me right now, but there is a huge, huge, huge issue within the beauty industry that tells us that we need to look a certain way or we need to have certain products or we need to have long hair. That's all that's represented in the media. That's it. And so we feel that that's normal and that's what we need to do. But there are people, say cancer patients or people with alopecia who can't grow hair and there's no representation for them. 
And so there needs to be some sort of shift in media that shows that all different hair types, whether you have hair or not, or whether you have short hair, long hair, sh a shaved head, it's all beautiful and it's it doesn't take away from who you are as a person from your gender identity or from your actions as an individual shaving my head really really taught me that i don't need to prove my femininity with my hairstyle and socially i need to be more open-minded to people's looks and not just be like, oh, she has short hair, she's ABC. Not that I did that before, but a lot of people do and kind of can blame that on media. Hair is not important. None of it's important. And it's so hard to realize that when you have it all the time. And then when you don't have it, you have to learn to accept yourself without it. And that brings me to point number three is self confidence y'all i thought i was the most self-confident i could ever ever be i thought i maxed out my level of self-confidence and then i shaved my head the first few weeks oh it took me it took me for a loop it took me for a ride i didn't expect so many changes whether it was people around me reacting to it and giving me their opinions social media reacting and giving me their opinions or when i would wake up and look in the mirror and realize i have no hair it's different it's a change and some people will never experience it and so i wanted to force myself to experience it because i think it's important it's it was a incredible experience and i kind of want to do it again just saying but like i said before if you love yourself only because you love your hair or you love how your makeup looks or you love your outfits that's not loving yourself loving yourself is taking away all of those factors hair makeup nails, lashes, your brows, your outfits, your shoes, your purses, and just looking at you as a individual unit, if you will, and saying, man, I'm comfortable with this regardless of how it changes physically. Because who knows? You could lose your hair for a plethora of different reasons. And is that gonna change how you feel about yourself inside? If so, you have some work to do on your self-confidence. And I didn't realize that before I shaved my head. So even the days when I would wake up and I would say, man, I really regret this, <laughs> or I really hate this, or I look ugly, or I don't look girly enough, or I don't look feminine enough. Will boys look at me the same? Whatever it is, that just shows that I needed to accept myself in a different way and not for what my hair or my makeup or my outfits looked like. I needed to be able to look at myself with no hair on my head and say, I still love you. I still really like you and I'm okay with you and we're gonna make this work. And so months later, I've been able to do that. Yeah, every day my hair is a struggle to style. I'm adjusting to it constantly, but I would not change that. It's definitely just taught me a different level of self-confidence that I never thought I needed. Reason number four, it obviously is really, really good to do if your hair is super damaged so you can just regrow it strong, healthy, and damage-free. For me, I did a lot of chemical treatments on my hair. I gave it about a year to heal, but even then, I would straighten my hair and like it would just break off. It was so, so dead, and it was time to just let it go. It was just time to let it go. The only reason I kept my hair that long was for self-confidence issues, because I felt like I wouldn't be pretty without it. So shaving my head and regrowing it has been so healthy, it's crazy, because my my hair used to be wavy and now it's growing in very straight. It just kind of shows my hair was so damaged and broken and it just needed, it needed a moment to gather itself and make a decision and come back healthier but it's never been this healthy probably since i was in middle school before i ever dyed it and reason number five which besides all of the vanity stuff and all of the beauty industry standards if you will it's just gonna save you a ton of money <laughs> i have not bought shampoo <laughs> since like literally december i've been using the same shampoo bottle and i barely use conditioner i have saved so much money on hair products i don't use heat on my hair i don't have to buy a bunch of hair ties i don't have to buy shampoo and conditioner every month because i run out it's great and it has saved me probably 
hundreds over the past few months. All right, y'all, so that is my top five reasons that you should shave your head if you're thinking about it. I mean, why not? Just do it, man. You're gonna wanna do it until you do it. So 10 years from now, you're still gonna be like, man, I wish I did it or I still wanna do it. So just do it because you will not regret it if you go into it with the right mindset. You might hate it, but guess what? You're gonna have to learn to love it because it's gonna be months till your hair comes back. So it's a great way to work on your self-confidence and how you feel about yourself. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And please recommend or request video ideas down in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys want to see from me coming up in the near future. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, and if you shave your head, please send me a picture on Instagram because I would really love to see it. And y'all are going to look so cute. Okay. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye.